Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do a video on how to remove a tub from an FG Ute. Um, if you're trying to remove the tub liner, then this will show you too. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it only takes about 20-30 minutes. You need torque screw, torque head bits. Um, I bought a whole set. So they're all throughout this car. These torque bits. You need a 25. Yep, T25 and T30. You also need just a Phillips head drill, a Phillips head bit. Um, if you're not comfortable using a drill, just your screwdrivers and a socket. Um, so 25, T25, T30, Phillips head, and a 13 mil socket. All right. Well, first off, there are six T30s along one side, six along the other, four T25s at the front, and four Phillips heads at the back. So just go ahead and remove those. That's it. That is it. And literally, it pulls straight out. So, it's a bit, a bit of a pain for one person. So, I'm just going to get rid of this stuff and try and wiggle it out. Okay, so that's the tub liner out. The, then you've got the plugs for the tail lights, just one plug on each side. All the dirt usually. Simple matter of unplugging that. And this side. Now you need your 13mm socket. difficult part is the fuel fuel cap over there. So I'll take you over there and show that. Okay, so the fuel cap here is a bit of a difficult one. Um, I'll just take you on the inside and show you. Sorry, it's going to be a bit bumpy. I um, don't know if you can tell if this, this pipe, metal pipe here, that stays and the rest of it comes off. This is simply a rubber grommet and it'll slide off. So you got one, two clips here, and two underneath. Simply push them, push them down, and push them out. And then feel the two on the bottom, and do that. So you can see it's loose. Come over here. See, that's loose. Now, take your fuel cap out. Unscrew that. I'll just push it back in. And just sit it in there and sit it shut just so you're not scratching the the, the um, tub. You can still sell these tubs for a bit of money if you're not going to use it. I'll make a trailer out of it. It's what most people seem to do. I want to make a pool out of it. <laughs> and then it's a matter of wiggling it out. Quite difficult. Just got to get that rubber grommet off the hot pipe. And here you come. 
So when you try and do it, you've got to get this end out and then curve it around like that because you've got this hinge section hidden behind there. And you can see there's, you need a fuel cap. You can just cut the cord on this one if you want. And then you just use this fuel cap. I've got a lockable one coming in, which I'll get the, which I'll fit when it turns up. So yeah, see that little nut there? That's just supporting the whole fuel cap assembly. So you undo that, which seems to be some sort of socket and a, and a spanner. That's all I need for that. So I'll do that now. So yeah, it turns out that nut's welded to that piece of metal and the screw, screw going into it's an eight mil. So I'm just gonna dive. Oh. I'm just gonna dive under there and undo that screw. That is everything. That is how to undo an FG tray. Now you just need people to get it off with you. So yeah, I got the tub off. Um, it's not too heavy. Uh, two people can move it around, but to get it off the ute, you really need three guys. We just had one under each wheel arch and then some at the tower gate because the tower gate's heavier than the front. Um, just to balance it, just picked it up, walked it off and sat it down. The only, th only thing I forgot to, um, to take off was the number plate light, the plug for the number plate light. So you can reach it just from underneath the bumper or if you've got the, um, the, the tub liner out, then you can just grab it from there. It's just up, it's just up the back here, you'll see it, uh, between the wiring for the tail lights. Um, so yeah, when I, sat it, when I sat it down, these side skirts and stuff here, they crush pretty easy, they squash easy. So they don't take any weight. So I set the back of it up on bricks. Um, but the front side skirts were pretty firm, so I've just left them on the ground. Um, so yeah. It'll stay here till I decide what to do with it. Yeah, so that's how to take off take a tub off an FG Ute. T Y.